folks. It's Joel Miller. Uh, I'm going to take you back to late September of 2019. Uh, this was the first time I ever fished in a, a bigger tournament outside of our uh, club tournaments. This was the figure eight musky gear musky in the mountains tournament. Uh, the tournament's limited only to West Virginia waters and you have limited uh, fishing times for both days. It's a two-day tournament. Um, so you never really got to fish until dark on either day and actually the second day uh, you can only fish about a half day anyway and then you had to report to the check-in so uh, uh, same format as our club tournaments a 30 inch fish is the minimum and uh, the point values raised the with the larger the, the fish so uh, we were we decided to hit a lake we were watching the temperatures because we've been holding some warmer temperatures uh, a week before that but we did get some uh, cooler nights and mild days in there and it was enough that we we went out and scouted the water temperatures and um, you were getting low 70s in the mornings which uh, that would give you about a half a day's worth of fishing if it did get really hot any given day uh, but we were lucky we uh, we actually decided to hit the lake and um, we had some uh, prefrontal conditions there uh, for the first half of the day then we had some rain kick in just barely though, the, the biggest part of the storm skirted us and we dodged that bullet. But um, we ended up uh, getting on some fish the first day and striking out the second day. Big one. Now that first fish we found, she was raring to go. She ate before I finished the complete figure eight. But uh, you'll notice in this uh, second part of this segment, the uh, the fish that Wesley ended up finding, it, it had a weird attitude of its own. Um, that fish took a lot of hard work and commitment to the figure eight to finally get to eat. Um, I actually, you'll see that there was a little bit of a fast forward segment in this because. There was just so much work done in the figure eight on this fish that it would take forever for you to see how it unfolded. But uh, anyway, this fish ended up getting figure eighted for 17 minutes straight. So it hurt my back just watching Wesley do this, but eventually that fish had enough and it ate for us. And uh, it was a really good tournament fish to get, being 44 and a half inches uh, to supplement my, my 49 incher. That put us sitting pretty good at the end of the first day.
Keep her head down, keep her head down. She's big. She's bigger than we thought. Not yet, not yet. She was swimming with it in her mouth the whole like, time. Why does it feel heavy? Did I have a log? <laughs> I thought I got a stick on me. Day two brought a post cold front condition. I ended up, uh, I moved one fish early in the morning and that fish was very, very lazy. It was just kind of a pop up by the boat and it never did follow any further than that. And that was the only fish we saw all day. So we started headed to the check-in and um, we were getting word that we, it was thought that we were still in first place even after striking out on day two. And after we got there, we got word that um, there was a, the third place team at the time after the first day had actually caught a fish in the last 15 minutes of check-in time and uh, jumped ahead of us and took first place. So Wesley and I, we both took second place in that tournament, which is still, it was awesome. It was both of, uh, both of our first times being in a, a bigger tournament like this. And um, I thought it was a pretty good achievement uh, considering it's my first big appearance and Wesley's first tournament ever. Um, and uh, another bonus was that my, my fish ended up uh, taking the big fish for the tournament and at the time was the, the largest fish caught in a figure eight tournament held so far.